Hello and welcome, my name is Doom Knight, and I'm for Shotcut King, the final checkmate. I'm gonna go straight into, uh, yeah, we're gonna keep doing throne mode, because these are kind of just endless modes that, at this point, don't unlock anything else, as far as I'm aware. Whereas in throne, we got to unlock our ranks, and hopefully, another shotgun, at some point. Just need to remember, what am I focusing on? It's fire range, knockback, shell capacity and blades okay again it's all random so it's hard to know really like you can't like try to focus on it in another way because it's random okay there is an issue though that there is an extra rook oh and it also adds the two extra pawns from rank one difficulty or rank two difficulty whatever it is okay so they're like accumulative extras hmm the rooks are the thing that was making endless mode hard, so this will be fun. Need to get you out of the way quickly. There we go. Okay. What we got? Blade plus three. I mean that. That does help towards one of them. Adds two pawns. Adds a rook. Minus two HP. I mean they'll die quicker, which is nice. But two rooks is just calling for death. Fire range. Is also another thing I need. Uh, full plate armor, blade minus one, all pieces plus one HP, and all pieces is minus one speed. Speed does actually sort of help a lot, sort of like without realizing it. Um, I might go with this one, get the fire range. Because it's it was like was it plus six plus fire range was the thing, so I don't know if that means my lowest thing has to be six, or if it just means like this is enough fire range. But man, that's quite far now. Look how far that goes before it loses its effectiveness. Right, I need to move there, so I don't call myself. Oh. There we go. Uh, the moat, that was pretty handy before. Salads. Uh Bishops plus one speed. Pawns plus one speed. Flip card if there's no bishop on the board. Uh, okay, so take out the bishop and you remove their buff, but otherwise they're faster. A piercing truth. Your bullets have 30% chance to pierce through targets. Ooh. Cardinal, remove one pawn, add a bishop, minus one max ammo. Ugh. Well, I mean, this this would it would just cancel out the speed minus, I guess. So the punishment only really is that there's an extra pawn and an extra bishop, and as soon as the bishop dies, this becomes irrelevant. Uh, oh, a nice safeguard or interesting mechanic where I can pierce through targets with chance. I'm going to go with the moat. Uh, 
There you go, already removed that effect. Yep, the motor's just really good as long as you keep on this side. Uh, minus fire range plus a blade, king health minus two. Oh yeah, the queen's coming in. Uh, subtle poison, queen's move limit, one square for 15 turns. King and queen minus one HP. That seems really strong. I mean, it becomes obsolete after 15 turns. But for those 15 turns, the queen's pretty much useless. And also, I don't want the other one because it minuses my range, which I kind of am working towards so far. Yeah, you can see the poison effect on her. Okay. Okay, the queen's no longer poisoned, I think. Oh no, she is still? Oh no, she isn't, okay. That was risky, I, I shouldn't have done that, I should have moved that out of the way. Um... Oh. There you go. Uh, oh, this is play an extra turn when you kill a knight and my shots are more accurate. Which is good for my extra range as well. Uh, conscription. Add one pawn every five turns. Not the worst thing, I guess. Wand of downpour. Deal ten damage on random enemies. Ooh. Ramparts. Remove two pawns out of rook. Ugh. Uh, more accurate, further shooting, plus extra turn on night kills, but pawns keep pouring in. Or just a really good 10 free damage randomly. But an extra rook. I don't like extra rooks, so I might get this. I guess if you save this or well, like near the end game you could use this to really hurt the king. But I might get this just because it makes my, like I said, my range better with my fire arc. And if you said the pawns just spawn at the top line, that's not the worst thing. Yeah, it's a bit better. Extra turn, there we go. Just get rid of you. Oh. Yeah, let's just move down here. Really, I can't fire upon him. I can get that damage in there. Thing is, you're checking me, ain't you? Yeah. Oh, damn it. Okay, it let me do it on my last shield. Good. But I say, that's, that seems really cheap because I can't actually get through that.
Okay. I don't like that you are like right on the precipice of evolving. Ah, oh, of course it's a rook. And a queen. Right, let's just do that. There you go. <laughs> Let's hunt down the king before any more chaos happened. Uh, I guess the one I get stronger every 10 turns, which is nice. Add two bishops after 15 turns. Ugh. Uh... Injured pieces lose two speed. Uh, slows down the things so that will slow down the pawns coming in. Ah, uh, Rid the King had a bishop. Yeah. Mm. I think I'll take the firepower. Two bishops is annoying, but I'll take the firepower. There you go, some nice damage on the king. Uh... There you go, okay. I don't like that you're about to come in and screw me over. Crap. Uh, I might need to use the rook to move away, but at the same time, I need the rook to be able to escape when the queen gets in here. I can't just stay here to reload if I've got no ammo. Uh... Oh, this might be checkmate. <sighs> or maybe not. Oh, okay. Close though. Of course it's a queen. Man, I've still got ways to go, it's really being really challenging. Uh, Sacred Crown, you can play an extra turn after using a soul card move. That might actually be very useful with how close they're getting to getting me done, honestly. Uh, remove two pawns, add a bishop, doubles fire up for one bullet. August presence might also be very good. Uh, add one pawn. Pawns can move two squares on their first move. Honestly, August presence and move up to the moat might be a very good strategy, honestly. Yeah, let's get that. That and the moat, I think, could be quite powerful.
Yeah, can't reach me there. There you go, get the queen out of there early. It is interesting them like not going near me though because they're doing weird moves that I'm not quite predicting. Of course it's a rook. Oh, of course. Ah, uh, another one. Yeah, I think at this point I'm going gonna go back past this side of the moat. Damn, there was a lot of pieces on the board there. Uh, Majestic Sensor, one map ammo max, one extra soul slot, that could be really good. Oh god, another conscription. Ugh. Uh, Fire Rock plus seven, charge additional shell, remove two pawns and add a rook. Ugh. It's going to add a lot of pawns, but... <sighs> Having the extra soul slot. Get rid of you. Ah. There we go. <laughs> the king's playing quite defensively now and it's screwing me over because they've got so many pieces swarming me. Hey, my engraved scope. That could solve that issue though. Undead armies. Pawns minus one HP. Replace knights, rooks, and. Oh, right, yeah. Hmm. Uh, blade plus two, once per turn, excuse piece. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if I've got too many pawns appearing in already. I don't know if the engraved scope is worth that. This doesn't seem worth it either. Oh, God, it's two horrible anti perks. I'll take this. Oh, hey, Victoria unlocked. Cool. Ah. There we go. <laughs> The process of just the entire army being annihilated. Uh, Bloodless coup. Pawn can't attack you. Flip this card for pawn is killed. Oh yeah. Pillage. Remove one rook. Add five pawns, and pawns will have more health. Ugh. Oh god, these are both awful. Um, okay, so regardless, pawns are getting more HP.
Uh, I'm going to probably have to go with Pikeman. I'm just going to have to pay attention to Pawns attacking forward now. Well, I mean, that makes it pretty obvious, I guess. Oh, right. Damn undead army. There we go. Just, just get the king dead. I've got two relatively good souls on me as well, that's good. Blunderbuss, extra power, but fire arc is worse. Which I guess I could essentially counter with my sniper. Out of rook, uh, more firepower, extra rook HP. Flip card if there's no pawn on the board. Oh, well, that's just not happening. Um, I might have to do Blunderbuss and... Yeah. So my arc's going to be, like, insanely bad now. Yeah. But how is it for the sniper mode? Pretty bad. Hmm. Oh, damn it. Uh... God, I just want to get that king. That works. <laughs> Plunder might have been a bad idea, but thankfully, I think we're on the boss anyway. Yeah. Kinda need to eliminate the uh the big boss quickly, otherwise I'm gonna be screwed by a swarm of uh, everything. <laughs> oh damn it, um Yeah, this way. There we go. Yay! We did it. The Jerk King won again. I mean, I locked the shotgun. Right, so what's rank 4? King extra health. Fair enough. So what did we get? We got Victoria, which was... The Fire Range one, I think? So... Oh, so this is like a um, repeater rifle, basically. One bullet. The capacity sucks. Okay, so capacity-wise, sucks. It fires further, has more attack, and is more accurate. Interesting. Okay. That could be good. I just don't like this. <laughs> Especially having to reload after, like, every shot. Hmm, but I'll definitely give it a try, though, definitely. Okay, but I think I'll, I'll end this video here, end, end on a win, and then next time we'll try out Victoria with 
the king being stronger. <laughs> and also, it would also have a rook and two pawns. God, I wonder how many ranks there are. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Do have a like and a comment. If you haven't really, why not slap the subscribe button? It's totally free and helps the channel grow. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a nice day.